Our first video will provide a basic definition of milling, talk about some of the everyday items that milling is used to make, introduce the most common milling application types, and provide a list of the standard material groups for machining. So milling is the use of rotary tools to remove material from a workpiece. The workpiece is stationary and the tool is rotating. Now this is the exact opposite of turning. A machine tool provides the tool rotation and axis movement of either the cutting tool through the workpiece or the workpiece through the cutting tool, depending on the machine type. The milling process involves the tearing away of small slivers or chips from apparent material using heat and friction created when the hard cutting tool, which has a special cutting edge designed for that material, is rapidly rotated through the material being machined. The yield strength of the parent material is overcome, allowing the cutting tool to separate the chips from the raw stock. Now, in general, milling begins in the roughing stage with larger tools and progresses to smaller tooling as the part takes shape. The cutting tool is operated at parameters that are recommended for that tool and for the specific material being machined. Softer materials can be machined at higher operating parameters and with a sharper cutting edge, but harder materials need to be machined at more conservative parameters and with a stronger cutting edge. Milling tools are used in a variety of application types. Face milling, or creating a flat surface, 2D profiling, which is the machining of either the inside or outside of a two-dimensional shape, shoulder or step milling of a ledge, pocketing, which can either be through pocketing or with a flat bottom, 3D machining of complex curved or sloped surfaces, slotting, involving the milling of a through or closed slot, circular or helical interpolation of a hole instead of drilling, and chamfering of an edge. Now there are other less frequently used milling types, but the vast majority of milling applications falls under one of these descriptions. There are seven primary material groups for machining classified under the ISO standard or International Organization for Standardization. Any material being machined will fall under one of these classifications and the milling tool that is used should be designed for cutting the specific material type. The ISO group P is for non-heat treated steel. ISO group H represents hardened steel. Stainless steel falls under ISO group M. Cast iron is categorized under ISO group K. Heat resistant alloys or exotics fall under ISO group S. And non-ferrous materials like aluminum, plastics, composites, and wood are ISO group N. As you look in your cutting tool catalog for a cutting edge type or carbide grade, the ISO material group is a critical part of how these choices will be made. Each material group has different machinability characteristics and the carbide cutting edges and grades are designed with this in mind. Milling is used to create a wide variety of parts used in everyday life, like molds and dyes, many of which form the parts of the car you drive, the things we cook with, clean with, virtually anything made of plastic or steel that is formed by a die. Milling is also used to perform secondary operations on forged and cast parts, providing accuracy and finish beyond the capabilities of these processes. Complex aerospace and medical components made of high temperature, strong but lightweight materials are generally milled as well, often to very tight tolerances. Most fixtures, prototype parts, and production parts have surfaces and features that require some form of milling. So, as you can see, milling is an integral part of our lives and the items that we use every day. There you have it, a very basic introduction to what milling is and the typical applications and material groups involved. Now, in our next video, we'll discuss some of the terminology used to describe cutting tool programming and use. Understanding these terms is important to properly utilizing your milling tool to its full potential, so be sure to tune in for that. Thanks for watching.